Yo there guys, what is up, Loot Games here, and today we are playing Terraria Xbox One Edition, and today hopefully we can get the Hotline Fishing Pole. Now the Hotline Fishing Pole I've been trying to get for absolutely ages, another thing that I've been trying to get for absolutely ages is the axe. Hopefully I can get both of them today, but who knows, we'll have to see where it takes us. We're going to talk to Simon and see what quest he has to give us. So let's go ahead and talk to him. Derplings in the jungle, so we've got to get the derp fish. And these are very, very scary and very hard to get. Well, they're not hard to get at all. They're, they're, they're exactly the same as any other fish. So we've got any uh, saved up. We haven't got any there. And we haven't got any there. No, we haven't got any there. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to have to go fish them. Hopefully we can fish them today. Like I say, we've got the golden fishing pole. And we've got a bunch of other stuff that helps us out with fishing. So hopefully we'll be good with that. I also want to build some pick starts today. Pick starts are actually a thing that I've wanted to build for a while. I've not built a few pick starts for actually about, I'd say about 10 episodes. The last time I uh, did a pick start, it was the Charizard one. And I think that turned out quite well, actually. If we look at it on the map, it does look like a Charizard. I mean, not Charizard. Charmander, sorry. <laughs> it definitely looks like a Charizard, doesn't it? No, it's, it's Charmander. And then obviously we're going to do Charmeleon and Charizard eventually. But we won't be doing those two today, I don't think. They're going to be quite big ones, but today we might do some more Pokemon Pick Stars. I said I'd do them a while ago, and I do want to do more. I really do. We're actually heading in the wrong direction. I keep forgetting because I've got two worlds, and they're reversed on the other world. So the other world, the jungle, is on the left. The other side, the dungeon, is on the right, and vice versa. So each one is on the left and the right, and wherever your dungeon is, you don't get the jungle on that side. So I always, I always remember that, but I never, I can never remember where they actually are. Okay, we were going to build something there, but it didn't go as well as I expected. Also, I do want to go, go get this pumpkin moon today because I do really want the pumpkin mask. That is a thing that I've been trying to get for a while as well. I've killed so many pumpkin moons, so many um, headless horsemen, but not a single pumpkin mask. So, derplings should spawn in around here, but we've got to find a good place to fish first. Hang on a minute. I mean, I guess this place over here is a good enough place if it does stay in the jungle. I think this is the jungle bomb here. So if I like fish from here, hopefully... Let's uh, equip all of our things first, quickly. I know we're not going to be able to fly or jump or whatever, but hopefully we'll be okay. Right, let's go ahead and hopefully we'll do this. So we're going to have fish 10 times and hopefully we can get it. Let's see if our luck is here today with us and we can get a derp. Oh, we've got an iron crate. They don't come up that often for me. I don't know why. I just never get them. We've got a wooden crate as well. We're getting a lot of crates already. I don't know why. Come on, give us a derpling. <gasps> we got it! We got the dirt fish really, really fast! Wow! That was actually super fast. I'm gonna put it down a minute and see if we can get more. Come on, you don't wanna you know you wanna give us more. I cannot believe I, I genuinely got it so fast. Normally it takes at least like a minute or two. That is another one. Can we get one more? I normally get around three because that's how many you can equip. Not equip, but that's how many you can have in your inventory in one time because you have to pick them up, then you have to drop it. Well, you have to bin it. And then pick another one up. And then you have to pick that one up while the other one's binned. And it'll allow you to pick up the other one. It's quite confusing, but it's a really cool thing to help you get more than one fish. So if you do get the quest again, you can just hand it in. And it's really super easy to do that. So let's see if we can get it before it turns night time. Because I don't want to lose. There we go. We've got dirt fish. So we trash that one. Pick that one up. And then pick that one up. So now we have three dirt fish. And we have the crates. We still have the goodie bags from last episode as well. Hopefully we can open those. Get something good out of them. And thank you so much for joining my Halloween episodes, guys. It was really good, uh, really big help as well for me. And we had a ton of fun killing the Pumpkin Moon. If you did, if you haven't checked those out, go check them out. I did list them of Terraria Xbox uh, Let's Plays, because technically they were. That's what I did. I replaced the actual Let's Plays with killing the Pumpkin Moon and all that stuff. And showcasing worlds. All that cool stuff. You can go check them out. They're in my Terraria. I think it's Loot Games Terraria. It's not in my Xbox One Let's Play playlist i don't think but let's hand in this fish anyway we're gonna go bank the other two just in case we lose the other two because i never really know if you do or don't right all right we've got two spaces that's all good one and two beautiful how many of those have we got wow we've got six of those and we've got seven of those we're never going to need any of those ever again we just hand them in straight away all right let's hand it in awesome what wait wait wait, wait. what did we get Oh, we just we just got a potions, I think, and bait. We've got a lot of bait building up as well. I've, I've noticed that we've got a ton of bait. I mean, we don't we don't use that much now because we've got all this. This um, I think it it don't break. Yeah, the fishing line will never break, meaning you'll never really lose bait that much. 
Then the angler earring, which increases your fishing power, I believe. Yep, fishing skill. And uh, this, which decreases the chances of bait consumption, which basically means you don't use bait when you fish, and you've got more of a chance not to use the bait fully. So when you fish, you don't just lose it straight away. You'll probably lose it after a couple of goes. So there we go. We've got that, and we've got three crates that we need to open up. So let's put them at the top a minute and open them up. More bait or a calcamore. Uh, iron skin, nice. Mana potions and gold coins. Ten golden coins there. That was beautiful. That's a, I think that was a good pull. And let's go sell all this stuff then. And then what we'll do is we'll open up our goodie bags and see if we get loads of rotten eggs, which normally I do. Right, here we go. Right, let's sell all this stuff then. So the first thing is the aura calcum ore. Do we need the tempest staff? We don't because we've already got an extra one. So what we'll do is we'll put that at the top. We also got the Godly Bubble Gun. What was doing last week's event, so that was really fun. Alright, we're gonna sell this. Sell this. Sell, 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 sell. We're gonna open these up. And we're gonna sell that then, because we don't need that either. Here we go. So let's do this now. Hopefully, good luck to me. Oh, we got the pixie stuff. Okay, we've got the pixie shirt. Bride of Frankenstein. Whoa! When you put the, your um, cursor over, it actually looks like the eye is closing up. That's weird. That is very... Look at it. That's weird. It's because it's like got black and it and the uh, thing goes behind it. It looks like it's opening and closing its eyes. Robot set. The robot set's good. Ah, there's the rotten eggs. I knew they'd come eventually. Got the leprechaun pants and shirt. And we've got a picture. That is super awesome. Let's put the picture up. Is it going to fit anywhere? I think it might fit. No, I'm just going to spam it everywhere to see if it fits anywhere. No, it's not going to fit anywhere, really. Is it really that big of a painting? Jeez. You need a lot of room to put this down, then hopefully it fits up here. Okay, we're not going to be able to put it down in a house, but can we put it up here? Yeah, there we go. We got it up. We got an... Whoa, that's actually really cool. If you look at it, it's the um, Headless Horseman. And that's his... I guess that's his head. Well, that's just a pumpkin. I'm not 100% not sure. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fill in the chest here so that we can come and bring things here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the golden chest for weapons. So we're going to place all those down here. There we go. Lovely. Beautiful. We, we've got a few bonus ones. So what we'll do is we'll just shove them in there so we know they're there in the future. And the next one we're going to do for this is equitables. Actually, no. We'll use this one as vanities because I've got a ton of vanities. Or should we use... You know what? I'm going to use the gold ones for vanities. So all my vanities will go in the gold ones because I've got a ton of vanities. And I think because I've got more gold chests, it'll be more... It'll be definitely a better option to do. So we've got, we've got the pixie shirt there as well. Lovely. Rotten eggs. And that, that, that's actually a weapon, technically. Rotten, I know rotten eggs don't sound like a weapon, but technically, it is a weapon. So we're going to shove that there. And we've got the frost hydra there as well. Lovely. What I do want to do as well while it's night time... Is actually test out the bubble gun against bosses because the bubble gun is a really strong weapon uh, uh, close up. So things like the destroyer, really good. I think Okram is good against that as well. The twins is not quite as good against, but still feasible against it, meaning it'll still be able to come up against it and still do an alright job against it. So what we're going to do is going to grab some bosses, and once we've done that, oh, we've got the pixie pants. There. I didn't even realise we need to go put them back. So before I do anything, I'm going to put the pixie pants back because I don't want to get confused. Or trash them and then not have a, a spare a spare pixie pants for those that I've already got. I haven't saw any ravens around. It's still Halloween. But I've not saw a, a raven or not. I mean, in real life, it's not Halloween now. Halloween's already gone. It's passed. But the Halloween event is still on. But by the event, I just mean the seasonal event. It's not actually an update. As you can see, the bunnies are still dressed up as slimes. The zombies will be still dressed up as, like, superheroes. And... They deceive you a lot because they're not superheroes, are they? They're, they're zombies. They're not superheroes. Oh, God. I need to get rid of it. I should just remove all this, I think, because it's just really annoying me in my house now how I've got all this. And I don't think the mushroom NPC is coming in my house anymore. No, I didn't think it would because I haven't got all the mushroom here. All this mushroom before, and then it used to come along from that. But now it don't. So I'm going to have to make that into mushroom biome again. But then it makes everything dark, which sucks. I don't know. May I might do it, I might not. So we've got a ton of stuff out. This is what I want to sort it all out because I've got weapons everywhere. I've got everything everywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a time lapse of that soon. But for now, I'm going to actually go grab some bosses if I can find them. I mean, it's such a such a tip. And anyone watching this will be like, 
Oh, God. Luke, what have you done? <laughs> that's literally what everyone thinks, I reckon. No, we've got equitables there. I mean, that, that's quite sorted out. That's weapons, that's equitables. And I did have it sorted out for a little bit, but then, yeah, it just went downhill from there. I didn't, didn't really saw it for a very, very long time. And it's just got so messy that I don't know where anything is now. So I do believe we have some bosses over here. So I'm going to go check over here just in case they are over here. Let's go check in here, actually. I might have, like, put my bosses here just while... Oh, actually, I had some in my uh, safe, I think, on my piggy bank. Can't remember which one it was. Okay, I got some Skeletron Primes there. So we could try against Skeletron Prime, I guess. We also got some Ocrams as well. Try against a... A Pingfish! <laughs> that looks so weird. That looks very, very weird. Bizarre. Bizarre as anything. The Pingfish has to be one of the weirdest fish I have saw. We also got our 40 Platinum Coins there. So what I'm actually going to do with those is I'm going to buy all of the NPC's clothing. Because I don't think I've got it yet. We don't want to heal up. Uh, can we buy... Does she have clothing? She doesn't. The dye trader definitely does. He has his dye robe. So we're going to buy one of those. Alright, cool. We're going to buy her steampunk goggles and... There we go. We also have a bit of room. We're gonna. I don't think he sells anything. Nope, he doesn't. The guy doesn't sell anything. The pirate, I think, sells his outfit, which he does anyway. Then Scarlet, she doesn't, I don't, oh, speed hair dye. Was that there before? I don't know. Uh, I'm actually going to buy a few of those just in case, like, it's new or whatever. Or not new, but if, if it's just, like, a limited edition. Because I don't think I've seen, seen speed hair dye there before. And she sells her dried clothing, which we're going to buy that. All right, how much platinum we got? We've got loads of platinum. It's only, it's only taking off gold, really. So now we can buy the cyborg stuff. Lovely. And where are all the other NPCs? They're all over the map. We do need to find the... I think it's... Is it the armor stealer that sells the... Yeah. It sells the nurse's outfit, which I've always found bizarre. Like, really, really bizarre. It's weird. I don't know why he sells it. He just does. He sells cauldrons, which I don't think he sells normally. Wait, why is he, wear... why is he selling his leaf wings? Normally, to get leaf wings, you have to be in the jungle biome. Oh, it's because I made this into jungle biome. Smart move, Luke. Smart move. So we're going to buy a few cauldrons as well. Why not? There we go. We've got a few cauldrons now. And I don't think he's... No, he does. He sells the Guy Fawkes mask, don't he? But we're going to have to replace it for something else, which temporarily, I think I can throw these on the floor. I'll come back for them in a minute. And I don't think he sells anything else. The baller outfit he sells normally. Clown pants. I think he sells them normally, but I'm not 100%. And, oh, the doctor's pants as well. The doctor's shirt. We need to buy those, definitely. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw that in a minute because I've accidentally took this away. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to our vanities, go put them in there. And then it's so cool seeing all of the different outfits. I mean, the wizard's got his wizard hat as well. Don't think the painter sells anything unless he sells his clothing, which he might do. I don't really know. So what we're going to do is we're going to shove them in there. But I can't remember if I bought all these ha last Halloween or not. I might have, but I'm not 100% sure. What's this look like? Whoa, that looks weird. I'm not going to wear that. So I'm going to put that there. Then, as, as long as all the vanities are in, like, one area, I'm not too fussed if they're all, all like, messed up or if there's multiple of them. Not too fussed about that. I'm more fussed about getting them all into a... Some sort of pattern. So vanities and vanities. Weapons and weapons. Equitables and equitables. It doesn't really matter which, which way they're in or which way they go. So now, we're going to go back, get the speed die, and purchase the rest of the Halloween clothing. So that's going to be quite cool. So I don't know if these are, but we're going to buy them anyway. Uh, we'll buy a bunch of pink thread because I think that's quite rare. I don't know if it is or isn't. We'll just buy 119. Whatever. We'll, we'll buy all those. I, oh, okay, I overbought. I didn't mean to buy that much. Then we're going to buy our own vanity, I guess. Did we just buy more doctor's pants? We did. We're going to sell those. And then how much of our own vanity did we buy? Bought their shirt, the pants, and wig. The clown hats as well. Lovely. So we've got all that. And I don't think anyone else sells anything. So I've got off him, him, him. Let's go double check in the character's house. Because there's a couple of people living there. They might sell things. I don't know. Oh, Does he sell anything? I don't think he does. Oh, actually he does. He sells a sickle. So we can allow the collection of hay from grass. That's so quite cool. 
So we'll throw that on the floor a minute. We'll go grab that in a second. So it's coming along nicely. I'm actually really liking this room so far. And like I said, it's going to be coming, going to come in help eventually when we're down the line, when we actually do sort them all out into vanities. As I say, I don't want them all go, I don't know. I don't want them all just going in an order in which the, every single vanity is in one. So say I've had multiple leopard shirts and stuff that they'd all go down. I don't really mind about that. That's not too much of an issue to me. But how my uh, chests are, are right now, it's just a mess. So that's why I want to sort them all out. And until then, I've got to just deal with what I've got. And there might be some bosses in here. Come to think of it. Yes, there are. Lovely. We've got twins there. We're going to need destroyers. I think we've used all of our destroyers. Just saying. Like every single last one has been used. Oh, we still got the clown stuff as well. Let's go get rid of the clown stuff and then we'll summon in some bosses. Hopefully, it's not too late in the night time because I don't want to get absolutely destroyed. Okay, clown hat, clown shirt, clown pants. And just for now, we'll put the pink thread in here because technically that is clothing. I know it's a material, but you use it for clothing. So I think that should be okay. And we've got the cauldrons on us. But I mean, we don't need a full inventory. We, we don't really need any items in the game because we've got them all. But let's go check what time it is. It is 5.19 a.m. It's turned daytime now, hasn't it? So, seeing as it's that early, we're just going to lead the boss killing because we don't have enough time for it. If we summon anything in, it's just going to go berserk on us. So, what we'll do is we'll do that next night time and hopefully kill a few of those because I do want to kill some bosses with this bubble gun and test it out. But for now, I'm just going to shovel that in here. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this because we don't need lead. When are we ever going to use lead? Never. So I'm just going to sell it. Ooh, quest pixie fish. Okay, so we need a pixie fish as well. We do get a new quest. And, oh, we can't sell anything to him. There we go. Lovely. So we're going to sell the lead bars. And I know the money. We don't really need the money. But it comes in handy. So what we're going to do is we're going to shove all of our platinum in there again. We don't want to lose it. Every time you die, you lose platinum. So there's no point in carrying a ton of it around just to lose it all the time. Got some cauldrons here too. So we can put some cauldrons in the chest. We can come back to it. We have tons of stuff. Look at all these masks. Jeez. I know I went on a mask, uh, hunting spree to get them all. So that's pretty much why I've got all those masks in there. Is there anything else? Deathsicles. Uzi. That helped me out so much. We've got two Crimson Key Molds there as well. I've got a ton of those. Two Ank Charms. Because I've got a ton of uh, quick Cryptables for the Ank things. So we've got the Clark. Bezor. Adhesive Bandage. Arcane Vitamins. Or just vit Vitamins. Vitamins. Whatever you want to call them blindfold we have a ton of stuff so let's go ahead and see if we can we've we got a pixie fish in any of these take a look i don't think we know we don't so we're gonna have to go get the pixie fish i believe it's from the hollowed biome and i know i've got a hollowed biome to the left of me so we'll go to the underground hollowed biome and try and get a pixie fish because that's what it looks like today and uh, we, we're gonna get one oh yeah the sickle still I knew, I knew we left something behind. <laughs> is this, uh, does this actually do anything other than just harvest seeds or whatever? It, what does it do again? Allows the collection of hay from... Oh, okay, so it harvests hay. Oh, wow, that's awesome. So all the grass that's growing, we're getting a hay from that. And I guess with the hay, we could build... We could use it for, like, yellow on pixelarts. That's actually really helpful. So the sickle comes in helpful a lot because the grass grows and... Yeah, I was just wondering, grasshoppers come out like this as well? So you can actually harvest hay and get grasshoppers? How cool is that? That is very cool in my opinion. Right, we're going to go into the underground biome of the hollowed. And hopefully, because while we're doing this as well, we have a good chance of getting the pig run mount. Which I've wanted to pig run mount for a very long time. The pig run mount's awesome for mobility to get you across the map fast. And I think it's like one of the fastest in the game. Don't think it's the fastest, but it's definitely one of the fastest in the game. Right, let's um, mine downwards from here then. So all we need to do is be in an underground hollowed biome. I think we get a pig's fish like that. And we should be able to get the pig run mount. So we go, let's just um, destroy all this. There we go. And we're just going to make ourselves a little thing there. We're going to mine all this way just so that it doesn't interfere with us. We're going to have tons of stuff like tons of stuff in our inventory right now look at all that let's just trash it all we don't need any of it there we go lovely do put that up there just put that there a minute because we don't really need it too much we'll put those there and then let's get our fishing rod 
And we are ready to start fishing, I believe. Yes, we are. So it's a gravel. I'm not seeing any enemies around yet, which is really weird. Like, it's like all the enemies are just scared of me now. I, I really don't know. It looks like, it's like they're scared of me. So let's see if we get this uh, pig run mount or the pixie fish. We've got an Atlantic cod there. Fair enough. Don't know if this is going to class as a hollow biome or not, though. Chaos fish. Wow, that looks awesome. We've got a bass there as well. I don't think we're going to ever break the line. So when we're getting in these fish, I think we're going to 100% success rate of getting them, I believe. So I don't know if, because this is the ice biome, I don't think we're actually going to get any sort of hollowed fish in these biomes. But we can try to keep fishing because we're not going to break our rod and it'll go quite fast. And it looks, yeah, it looks like we're going to get all these prismite as well. Okay, that's some really cool fish. You get some really cool fish in the ice biome. But that's not what I... Oh, we got a golden crate. That's beautiful. I do like golden crates as well. I'll take as many golden crates as you got. As many as you've got. 